We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Gophers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. Mike Fon! Mike Fon! Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. One yard loss. Really? They just had nowhere to go after the catch. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll make it fourth and ten. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Here he goes. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. He's scrambling, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it 31. Big opening! And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's tackled around the eight-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackle made at the eight. hit before it could go anywhere. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Touchdown, Buckeyes! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 64-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buckeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. 
Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Fires complete over the middle. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Number five with the tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike five. Mike five. Go! He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 38. He gets rid of this one. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Taken down at the 48. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. Yellow three. Yellow three. A five yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That brings him second and five. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the ball. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Mike five. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Four down, four down. Watch nine, watch nine. Mike five, Mike five. Fires quick. He's got another one. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. That's good for him. From the 24-yard line, first down. Dog four. Steps out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. That makes it second and six. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. The Buckeyes with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. And here we go. Mike go. Gets out to around the 12. That's a gain of eight on the play. 13th play of the drive coming up. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike five, Mike five. Hit. Now he tries to buy some time, and they make the stop at the nine-yard line. Ball inside the ten-yard line. Second down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. Mike five, Mike five. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. The fullback brought down in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. From the two yard line, it's second down. Tackles him hard at the six. A 
this is the 17th play of the current drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires across the middle. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. And so he found his receiver for the score. And you know, the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A long 17 play, 74-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Makes it out to about the 43. Seven yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That brings up second and thirteen. Second down, thirteen yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Quick throw, and down he goes, around the 43-yard line. That back screen, and he dropped it. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tackle after decent pickup. Five yards there for the quarterback. It's second and five here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Makes it out to about the 36. That makes it first and ten. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Roger, Roger. Slings it, and he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Game of 11 yards. First down. Right. 
great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 42-yard line, second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That'll make it third and one. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. So they're going to go for it here. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. It's an active receiver, and he can't hang on. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. I'd be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. A big time call by the defensive coordinator bringing the blitz from the corner. It's one thing to bring a linebacker or a safety, but when you bring the corner, you're really taking a chance because if the quarterback recognizes that, it's kind of an easy pass. That time the quarterback didn't see him and allowed the corner to get home and make the sack. Brought down at the 40. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. And he's going to be sacked. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He sends this one deep. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. They'll give it off here. Good outside run there. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it out to about the 49. Got a man, watch out here. And he's tackled around the 44 yard line. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. made at the 28-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. A gain of a yard of the quarterback keeper. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Great tackle at the 34. That's a loss of seven yards. That makes it third and 15. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Check 83, ball's going to 83. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Deep pass to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. Number 16, the intended receiver on the way. That brings us fourth and 15. Ohio State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Buckeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Strike complete. He's down. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. The crowd really making it difficult. Gets out to around the 48. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Three down, three down. Three down. Key 15, key 15. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Go. 
He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Number five on the top at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Flags the mic. Flags the mic. Taken down in the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Black five, black five, go! There's a strike over the middle. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So we're looking at another third down here. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike Spahn, Mike Spahn. Done. He's into the open field. Brought down at about the 11. And this is the 10th play of the drive. After a decent run up the gut. That makes it seven and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Six yards to the end zone. Check 83, ball's going to 83. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Red two. Three, nine. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Minnesota is looking to tie things up. It's up, and it splits the uprights. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And they make the stop around the 24-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, and a 10-10 tie in this game. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. No gain. That makes it third and 11. A little toss across the middle. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Fourth down. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. Kirk, I gotta ask you, are these two offenses that anemic or are the defense is that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute for points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do 
is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. It's third and 14. Ball on their own 34. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. He sails it long. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. First down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Flies the mic, flies the mic. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And it carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the nine. around the 14-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Nice run up the middle. And he didn't get it up for the first. You know, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. This one should be makeable. Just over two minutes in the game. Kicks away. And it is good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he just gets rid of it. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 33. Oh, here we go, Herbie. you got to love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's going to make a play to win this thing. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all on the field today. Just under two minutes in the game. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Listen to this place. And they get nice yardage on that run. The 
the punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback. Ohio State's ranking that doesn't mean anything right now. Now they've not played up to their expectations at all but they have the football here late in the game they're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Even in a game this close I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome but that doesn't mean it won't happen. Fires it out. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's on the run. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Caught out in the open. Inside the 30 to the 10. And it's a whole new ball game. the extra point so a fourth play 81 yard drive and they get it in for seven well Brad right now this offense is hot and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense so our score 17 13 they're lined up to kick and they might just kick it short to prevent a long return this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Minnesota's staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on well the defense is going to be looking at this running back they're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play that means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero and be able to win this game stays in bounds and made a nice catch from their own 39-yard line. It's first down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Down. He can't get away from the pressure. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. And he's sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that could really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 17-13, Ohio State. 
and the Golden Gophers. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.